good morning so surprise surprise i'm back in london a lot sooner than i was supposed to be but i'm here for a really exciting reason at least i hope it's going to be exciting i on a whim decided to book a flight and a hotel for like two nights here to try to score a taylor swift ticket i am hoping to go see her tonight when suki waterhouse opens for her i don't have a ticket yet i don't even have an outfit also feeling lucky Obviously, I wouldn't have come here without a ticket. I'm just hoping I score a cheap enough ticket in the next few hours that I don't have to stress about going to the venue without a ticket. But if that happens, I think it's going to be okay. I was talking to a girl on Facebook this morning that did that last night, and she said she was able to get a ticket from somebody. Sounds a little sketchier, but the universe has my back on this one. I'm just going to trust it. So first things first, let's go figure out outfits, and then we need to get back to the hotel to start getting ready for this concert. The stores I was excited to check did not have anything exciting or they had things that were exciting and they were too expensive. Since the Taylor Swift tickets are still insanely expensive, I'm gonna keep doing cheap and chic. We're gonna wear a black t-shirt, throw on some red lipstick, and that's just gonna be the era we're in. My backup plan from there is to just go straight to Wembley, even if I don't have a ticket, and crowdsource there. Because I saw on Facebook, there was a girl there last night that like, couldn't get a ticket, like just went to see if she could hear anything outside, couldn't. But then she made friends with this other group of girls that were like sharing their codes and she's able to score a ticket. I'm feeling pretty lucky. I think I'm gonna have to work for it, but if I can get an affordable ticket, even if it means no new outfit, it's gonna be worth it. Okay, so what's the situation? I am on my way to Wembley, but I don't have a ticket. So this is really an active phase right now um, that's hopefully gonna pan out well. If it doesn't, at the very least, I feel like I'm gonna make a bunch of friends with other girls that are doing the same thing I'm doing. This is my outfit because, again, I don't know if I'm getting in and all my money at this point is going toward a ticket. So no crazy outfit. But hopefully it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fun. Leap of faith. So it's like two o'clock now. The concert starts at like, I think five. So I'm gonna go hang out at Wembley, try to like make friends with people and pray that I find somebody who has like a legit ticket. Because the amount of people I have met on Facebook that have been like selling tickets that either like, they tell me I'm gonna get the ticket and then they sell it out from under me or like they try to sell me a ticket and you get the proof, but the proof is a fake. It's not been good. So uh, we'll see how it goes. This is definitely gonna be an interesting day, but I think it's gonna be a fun one. Let's go. So I figured since I'm already on my way, today would be a great time to show you how to get from King's Cross Station to Wembley Park, or in this case, Wembley Stadium. We're heading on the westbound Metropolitan Line, and we're gonna take that straight to Wembley Park. Uh, you can see there's lots of other Swifties around, and uh, oh, fingers crossed I meet someone who has an extra ticket. Wembley Stadium, um, the train stops just up the steps for Wembley Park, and then down the steps and straight down that way is the stadium. Now comes the fun part for me because 
I don't have a Taylor Swift ticket yet. I am planning on just trying to make friends with somebody either on Facebook or here in the crowd that maybe has an extra ticket that they're not selling for a ridiculous amount of money. Uh, so fingers crossed. Um, I made so many new friends, got so many friendship bracelets. Oh, it was so worth it. No lie, I was a little anxious there when it was getting close to starting and I didn't have a ticket, but via go go. Sounded sketchy, it worked. Shout out to the Australian guy that told me he got his ticket from there and it was legit because I had never heard of them before and was sticking to Step Hub, which was way more expensive. So pro tip for you there, as you've seen, traffic was a mess getting out, but I'm back, I'm almost home. So ready to crash because tomorrow morning I'm getting up, I'm meeting one friend for coffee, I'm meeting another one for afternoon tea, and I'm checking out of the hotel. I don't know where I'm gonna go. I don't have a hotel booked yet. I don't have a plan. I don't know if I'm staying in London. I don't know if I'm hopping on the train somewhere. I might even be hopping on a plane. I literally have no idea what's gonna happen tomorrow. And I know it would stress some people out, but I live for this. I love it so much, um, not knowing. I feel like it's kind of like, it's so rare in this life anymore that it's a gift. And I'm so excited about it. But I also am hungry. <laughs> And that maybe is going to be a challenge. We'll see. Um, so I'm going to go tackle that and then we'll tackle the issue of where we're going tomorrow and we'll go from there. <laughs> 